by you being a, away from the game, coming back, what was that transition like? Like, what was it? Because I, I, I'm asking this question this way because you mentioned something about retirement, right? And I told him, or I told the world, if an athlete is calling out saying they thinking about retiring, leave him. Leave him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now I got somebody else over here who thought about yeah, retiring yeah. in the midst of still trying to figure his own personal shit out and the team shit out, right? Mm -hmm. What was that like? Like what? What got you to the point? Like yo, fuck it, I'm 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 done with this shit. It up. This it ain't worth it no more. Cause I I've been there. Mm -hmm. So I want I want I want you to talk. I think a few things got me to that space. Uh, number one, like you know, I was going into these games and like. Don't get me wrong. I've done my fair share of shit. I stand on everything I do. I don't sugarcoat it. I don't blame what I've done on anybody else. I stand on it. But like, it felt like I'm going into these games and I'm being targeted by shit. Right. You know, and, and it's yeah. like, all right, like, I'm, you know, I ain't no dummy. Like, I'm seeing stuff, you know, and it's like, man, it's don't, I feel like I'm getting targeted. And so, you know, I'm just watching it play out and, you know, kind of rolling with it. And, you know, in, in, in doing that, I'm, I'm starting to approach the game differently. Like, I'm going to games like, all right, man, I know I'm coming out at the five-minute mark. Like, let me get there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. let me just get to the five-minute mark. I know I'm coming out. I'm sitting at eight. Ten minutes roll around on the second quarter clock. Oh, fuck. Swinding down. Like, here I come. I'm, I'm getting to eight. All right, here I go. Go get the halftime. Go in, I do my eight. I, I do my eight, I'm at halftime, all right. I gotta get through one more half. Just be mindful of. I'm counting down minutes in the game. Which is bad. Of when I'm going to sit, like, right. like almost like I'm doing a bid. Like I'm counting down yeah. in the game. And so I'm not enjoying this. Like, I, I, I'm just literally out here for like, I'm getting a paycheck. I got to play. Like, all right. I've never played basketball for that reason. For a paycheck? Like, nah, this, it just happened to pay good. But, like, I, I played basketball because I grew up. That's, that's what we did. Like, and so I'm feeling that. And then at the same time, all of these things are happening. You know, Rudy Gobert thing happened. Everybody going crazy, losing their mind. In the moment, I ain't feel like it was bad as it was once I watched it. You it was, know what I'm saying? It was once, crazy. Once I watched it, I'm like, oh shit. Like, <laughs> it was crazy. I got to the locker room. I'm, I'm, I'm bro. I'm going to tell like, you, shit was bugged out. Should've I got to the locker room. I start watching the video. I'm like, all right, I got him. <laughs> I got him. Okay. I must I be crazy because I was like, yo, that shit wasn't that bad. Like, I must be, I must I be super. The haze. <laughs> <laughs> That's the piff. Bro, all of a sudden the video keep going. I'm like, all right, cool. I still got him. Like, damn, man, I got him for a long time. Like, I'm, I'm now looking and I'm like, yo, this is wild. Like, I this, this went on way longer than I realized. In that moment, you feel like it's like, you, you, you know just, You just iterated that you felt like you was, in the pen. Absolutely. So, so it, 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 even more of a reason why you ain't let go. Like, it's just, fuck it. Like, I'm, I'm on the yard. Absolutely. So, I'm like, so then that happened, you know what I'm saying? I get suspended two games. I get suspended those five games. I'm literally just working out, counting down the games. I ain't thinking nothing about this suspension. I'm like, all right, that's five games, whatever. Like, I mean, let me just stay working out, stay in shape. And five games will be up, I'm back. So I'm not thinking nothing or none of this. Like, come back, I'm playing. And then shortly thereafter, the Nurkic thing happened. Then I get suspended, and it's like, you know, I have, I have a conversation with Adam. Like, before I'm suspended, I had this conversation. Like, I do my interview with the lead security, and then me and Adam talk. Like, so before anything comes out, any suspension or anything, we talk. And I'm just like, Adam, I'm done with this shit. Like, this ain't fun for me. Like, 
this ain't worth it. Cause now, and what really, what really had me thinking about retiring, I'm like, it's not worth it. My mom's getting death threats. People on my wife's page, like, oh, I know he's beating you like this. Like, oh my God, like he's he's at home beating you and your kids. And I'm just looking at this shit like the dark side of the of the game. Yeah. This is wild. Like, and so also seeing what my people was going through because of this. I'm like, yeah, this ain't, this ain't really, like, this ain't that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I ain't crazy. People try to paint me like I'm crazy, say I need help. I'm not crazy at all. But like, I'll hurt you over my family. Like, like I, like I think most people will. Like, That's a no brainer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so once it starts reaching there, I'm like, yeah, I don't know if this is really worth that for me. Like, and so to keep going through these things now where like, People judging my character. Like, you know, I'm when that happened, I I forced myself to listen to everything everyone was saying. Because normally we block out the noise, you know what I'm saying? Like we block it out and you just keep going. But I'm like, nah, I need to, hey, like, maybe I'm missing something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I need to, so I like for a couple of days I sat in my man cave and like I just listened to everything everyone said. And it was fascinating to me. Like media wise? Media, like. People, fans. People, fans, like. Players. Pl players, for sure. Like I just listened to what everybody was saying. And it was like, yo, they taking it. Like they, these, they're taking shots at my character as a, as a man, as a human being. I've worked too hard to become who I am just to like be my character to be questioned over this game. Like I've done everything I need to do in this game. So for my character to now come in question as a man, as a father, as a husband, like you beating your wife, that's nuts. Crazy. Like, and so for, for my, I'm like, yeah, I don't really need this. And so I'm having this conversation with Adam and I'm like, Adam, this ain't it. Like I'm watching like the, 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 the news cycle. It ain't no news cycle. The news cycle is me. You, every channel, I'm the news cycle. And he's like, well, Draymond, like, what are you talking about? Like all the talking heads and he's like, because you, you can move past that. I'm like, yeah, but it ain't just talking heads though. Like this has gone way further than just talking heads. Now, yes, these talking heads are pushing some crazy narrative that, but like this has gone way beyond Stephen A on first take. Like yeah. this is like wildfire now. And so I'm sitting and I'm weighing, like, what's this worth? Like, like, and I told Adam, I said, Adam, I've made money, I've won championships, I've won gold medals, I've been like, I've done the things, man. Like, this ain't worth that. Like, it's just not. I got kids, like my kids going to school, kids like, yo, your dad choked someone, your dad, and I'm, <clears throat> your dad's kids, suspended. Kids are blunt too. Yeah, kids are, you know, man, So my kids coming home like, daddy, did you, did you choke, this? did you hit this guy? I'm like, oh shit, like, yeah. like this is a new level. Those conversations are different. You know? Yeah. And so now I'm having to, have conversations with my kids like and I'm explaining like I'm on the basketball court I'm out here competing this is not right like I shouldn't have done this this isn't me walking around on the streets though right. like so your your friend dad may go to work and not excusing anything I'm doing but your friend going your friend dad going to work and getting into a fight with someone it's totally different than me going to work and getting into it. Like we're actually competing. It's physical. It's like right. it's a, by no means is this right and is this what I should have done. But also, don't allow your friends to try to make it like your dad is like. Right, right. This sounds like, like your like, pops fighting in the break room. Like, that com that com <laughs> I'm going to prison that, that conversation <laughs> you gotta have early, earlier mm -hmm. than you than expected. Oh uh, yeah. Like we, our kids. It's it's they gotta they gotta they gotta grow quick. They pick everything mm -hmm. up, social media and, and Yeah, because face. we have to keep constantly feeding them information and information and information. Things that our parents our parents was probably holding away from us or like 
oh, we're not going to tell him to 15, he 16, enough. he ain't mm -hmm. old enough. Yeah. We got to have those conversations with our kids at seven, yeah. eight, nine, like super early, man. And it's, it's, it's unfortunate, right? And, but it's fortunate because we get, we get to have those conversations, mm -hmm. right? We privileged to have, we put in a situation where we can have those conversations to understand the dynamics of a lot of shit. But that shit is hard, man. No matter how many conversations he have with his kids and sit down and explain to him, <clears throat> this is what's happening. They don't, they still got to go deal with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. them kids in school still say the same shit. Yeah, Absolutely. kids say yeah, yeah. kids say the darnest things, man. Right. No, filter. Anything. no yeah. filter. You want the truth? Yo, go talk to yeah, the kids. Super blunt. Right. So, so I was losing it on that, bro. Yeah. And I told Adam, I'm like, yeah, I don't know I want to do this. And this, like, it's just not adding up for me. Like, I'm also struggling. Like, I'm fucked up, Adam. I am fucked up right now. And like, I'm about to go to some, like counseling. <laughs> Give me some, like, cause I I had done some counseling work before, but I didn't stay consistent. You know what I'm saying? I go, kind of stop, go, stop, go, stop. And what I end up learning was that there's different levels to this shit. And how how how, how deep you want to go? You're only uncovering what you go to uncover. And so I knew there were some things for me that like I needed to uncover, but I was afraid because once you uncover it, do it. you better go do the work, yep. you know? And so I'm like, there's some things that I'm not really ready to face. And when this thing happened and I'm talking to Adam, I'm like, yo, I know I have some things that I need to go uncover. I'm going to uncover them. And he's like, listen, you sound like you need time. I need a, I do need time. We're going to suspend you indefinitely. We're going to keep having conversations. You'll be talking to us. We'll be checking in on you. And you let me know what's your progress. We'll do progress checks and we'll see where you at and we'll keep checking in. And man, I gained, I always had a bunch of respect for Adam. Adam's great. But I gained so much respect for him because it went from like, yo, like, you're the worst human being in the world to like, nah, let's figure this out. Like, yeah. let's figure this out together. You're, let's, you're, you're a man now, you're a human being. Yeah. Absolutely. You're not just an asset. Right. Absolutely. Let's, let's really right. talk on that mm -hmm. level. Like, yeah. let's figure this out. And so then conversations with myself, like it was unlike a process they've, they, they've ever done. Right. Like it was totally different. It wasn't like, yo, you're suspended, you're this. It's like, nah, what you're talking about is real. Let's focus on that. It's let's, called a suspension, but what we're really doing is trying to get you to where you need to be. Absolutely. To that wouldn't have happened if he wouldn't have took accountability to say, yo, I need help. Yeah, yeah. Right? Not everybody else saying, Draymond needs help. Mm -hmm. Like, he had to come and say, I need help. Prize Picks has got you covered when it comes to helping you make some bread. Yes, sir. Prize Picks is the daily fantasy app where you can select two or more players Pick more or less on their projected stats and turn $25 into $250. Throw a little extra zero on the end. Prize picks is simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. Baby. Be sure to visit prizepicks.com slash 7 p.m. and use promo code 7 p.m. for a deposit match up to $100. And in the meantime, stay locked in to 7 p.m. in Brooklyn.